So today, I'm regrading stainless steel. Uh, I do this with the appliances that I uh, rehab. So part of that is getting the stainless steel to look good. As you can see, this stainless steel right here, you know, it's got some scratches. You know, there's abrasions and stuff like that. And I just want it to be all nice and uniform. These are fingerprints over here. So I'm going to end up regraining it. So I'm not sure, you might not know what I mean by regraining, but what I'm talking about is, you know, all stainless steel has a grain to it, has a, a directional pattern that the, uh, the grain is done in. And this grain is produced from a smooth sheet of stainless steel by abrading it with some type of abrasive medium, okay? So today I'm gonna be using now you can you can do this by hand. However, if you do it by hand, you're not going to get these lines to be even. So the better way to do it is with one of these guys. Okay, use a little one of these little belt sanders. Okay, so I'm only going to be able to get as wide as this is each time, and I have to go from one side to the other. Okay. Now, if you notice, it goes in this direction, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go backwards on it each time in a stripe, and I probably have to make several passes before some of these scratches come out. There are some scratches in here that uh, would be hard to get out otherwise. Now, I could use uh, some more, I could use some more coarse sandpaper possibly to get those out. I'm going to see how it goes with this at first, though, okay? Some of the things that you might not know about stainless steel. First of all, it's it's actually steel and chromium. Chromium is the part that makes it stainless. The higher the grade of chromium, the more stainless it's going to be and the more um, water resistant it's going to be, the more uh, corrosion resistant it's, it's going to be. So marine grade stainless steel is the highest grade of stainless steel and that's generally what you'll see in kitchens. That's what this is, okay? Uh, the other thing, too, is that uh, if you ever need to know the thickness of the stainless steel that you're dealing with, you can get one of these guys, which is a gauge that will tell you the stainless steel that you're dealing with, okay? So the way it works is these little slots right here, each one of them is going to gauge what that is, okay? So, for example, you know, this stainless steel has a certain, it's a certain grade, a certain gauge, okay? Uh, This gauge is out to be, uh, whoa, hang on a second, let me see here. It gauges out to be, uh, yeah, it'll fit on that one, okay. It gauges out to be uh, a 500 gauge, a, a 0 .05 gauge stainless steel. That's where it gauges out to be, okay. So, another thing about stainless steel is the grain is dependent on the medium the medium that you're using now some of the stuff you'll see it is mirror you know like a mirror image where you can actually see your own reflection in it that is a very very fine grain grading or you know um, it's a very fine grain finish on stainless steel this here has a certain grain to it and it's not super fine grain and it's designed to do that because it, it's designed to, to wear to last okay so, the, the type of medium that you're going to use is going to depend on what that grade is going to be. And there are actually stainless steel gauges out there. There are charts that will show you pictures of stainless steel so that you can know what grade that you're dealing with. Uh, I have a buddy that was in a trade. He was working with metal, and he had one of those charts so that he could know if he had to regrain stainless steel, or if he just wanted to grade stainless steel from scratch, what he would have to do to get that finish to work. Now, the factory process for this is, is uh, in some cases, this is what they're using. In other cases, they're using a giant, you know, assembly line type process. They're doing this all with one pass, okay? That's not what we're going to do here. We don't have an industrial process. Uh, one thing about stainless, okay, or one thing about any type of grain work that you could be doing is 
Uh, first of all, if you're doing it with automated tools like this, you know, where the belt's passing through, you want to make sure that there's nothing that the belt can get cut, can get cut on, okay? So, this, oh, by the way, this, this, um, this abrasion, this abrasion, or this um, belt, I think it's a 120 or a 160 grade. I can't remember what I used, okay? Anyway, uh, there is a way to grade this, okay? And you, the, this type of belt that you're using, the type of medium that you're using, is going to give you that finish, okay? So, I get all of the things off of here that could possibly scratch this. In this case, there were these little nuts, okay, that actually passed through this little part here, passed through these holes. And if I would have come over here, I would have scratched it. And if I would have had, if I wanted to get around it, I would get an uneven even grain pattern. So I actually stripped it down to nothing. The other thing too was I had to do that. I had to pull this off of the entire piece, as it were, so that I could just deal with the top piece. Okay, this part here, I'm going to do this separately, and I'm going to remove these rivets. And then I'm going to re -rib it back on. So that's what it takes to do a quality regraining of stainless steel. So let's let's just get started here, so I can kind of show you how it goes. Okay. Now, with abrasion, there are two types of abrading that you can do. You can do dry abrading, or you can do wet abrading. I prefer to do wet abrading because the medium. You know, which is the sandpaper, bites into this much better, and the the uh, liquid on the surface of this helps to clear out any. Um, you know, this, this tends to get clogged up, and then it won't abrade anymore, and it, you won't get an even abrasion. So to do that, I just use water. Okay, industrial processes they might use something different. Okay. Let's see if I can get this to go here. Let's get a nice even, you know, coat of water on here. And then I go ahead and start to use the tool. Now you're gonna to wanna to have you're gonna to wanna to have glasses on, okay? Um, when you do this just in case there's anything that comes up here. Uh, so, let's turn this puppy on.
done two complete passes here. Okay. And it'll probably take me a couple more passes, but as you can see, it's a lot cleaner than it was originally. I'm going to get a towel and wipe it off. Now, there's a possibility that I might just take a long board and do it as a finish coat, but as you can see, it does clean it up quite a bit. It's taken off a lot of the scratches that were on it, and I'm just going to keep doing it and try to get this as even as I possibly can, but that is how stainless steel is um, grained industrially. Thanks for watching the video.